Newton County Board of Education uh, regular monthly meeting to order. If you will please join me with the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have special recognition this evening? Uh, yes, Madam Chair, we do. This evening, we have one employee and several middle school students in attendance who absolutely deserve to be publicly honored for their recent accomplishments. I think that all of our board members would agree that the recognition portion of our meetings is the very best part of our meetings. We know that there are many great things taking place in our school system, and this time, we recognize the students and employees who make those great things happen. The board recognition portion of the meeting is absolutely my favorite time. Um, so with that being said, I'd like to start with Miss Tammy Privet, who is the media specialist at Middle Ridge Elementary School. <laughs> Last spring, a panel of judges chose Miss Privet as Newton County School System's 2015 Media Specialist of the Year. We were recently notified that Ms. Privet has been named the 2015 Exemplary Library and Media Programs. The winner of the Georgia Library Media Specialist of the Year will be announced at the Georgia Council of Media Organizations Conference in Athens in October. Ms. Privet, we are extremely proud of you and we wish you the best of luck in the state competition and know that you will represent us very well. Thank you. If you attended any of our school board meetings at the end of the school year, you might recall that we had a packed house each night from February through May. We had so many students and employees who were deserving of special recognition that we've had to wait until the beginning of the new school year to finish bringing everyone in for their, to be recognized for their accomplishments. And that is a wonderful problem to have. So next on our list, we will recognize all of our middle school students who earned high honors in the 2015 Duke Talent Identification Program at the end of the 2014-15 school year. Last spring, we learned that 14 of our seventh grade students qualified for state recognition in the Duke University Talent Identification Program for their performance on either the SAT or the ACT. 13 of these students also qualified for the Duke Talent Identification Program Academy for Summer Studies. Nine additional seventh graders met the criteria for the Academy of Summer Studies. Each year, seventh grade students in Duke University's 16 state talent search region are selected to participate in the prestigious program. School counselors, teachers, and administrators help Duke University identify academically talented students for their consideration. Once the application is higher on the math portion, a 21 or higher on the reading portion, a 21 or higher on the science portion of the ACT, or score 20, on more, more, 20 or more on three of the four categories. For middle school students taking the SAT, they must score a 530 or greater on the math section of the, AC, of the SAT, a 510 or greater on the uh, critical reading section of the SAT, a 500 or greater on the SAT writing section, or have two of the three following scores, math 520, critical reading 500, writing 490. Keep in mind that these are middle school students. They're not high school students. They are seventh graders um, who are taking a college entrance exam. Um, and having done so, they have excelled on the high school college entrance exam. So this is a, a really major accomplishment. Students, when I call your name, please come forward to pose for a picture and accept your certificate of recognition from our school board chair, Mrs. Abigail Cobb. Jack Atkinson. Jack attends the Newton County Theme School at Fickwood, and he earned state-level recognition in the Duke Talent Identification Program. Congratulations, Jack. Awesome. Very good. Yay. <laughs> 
definitely an accomplishment. Um, our next student could not attend this evening because his family has moved to Texas. But although he is no longer attending the Newton County School. <laughs> next, we have Jada Fahey. Jada's not here. Jada attends Clements Middle School, and she earned state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy of Summer Studies. So if we could just give uh, Jada a round of applause. <laughs> Jaden Wheeler. Jaden also attends Clements Middle School, and he earned state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Jaden. Marina Busby. Marina attends Cousins Middle School and she earned state recognition and was invited to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations. <laughs> Aniston Curls. Aniston attends Indian Creek Middle School and she earned state recognition and also an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. <laughs> Congratulations, Aniston. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Pierce Downs. Pierce is a student at Indian Creek Middle School and he earned state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Pierce. Christopher Holmes. Christopher is also a student at Indian Creek Middle School and he earned state recognition and was also invited to the Duke and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations. <laughs> Braxton Buff. Braxton is a student at Newton County Theme School at Fickwit and he earned both state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Braxton. Ava Glover. Ava attends Newton County Theme School at Fickwit and she earned state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Ava. Tristan Grace. Tristan is a student at Newton County Theme School at Fickwit and he earned both state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Tristan. Marcellus Green. Marcellus attends the Newton County Theme School at Fickwit and he earned state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Marcellus. Corinne Hansen. Corinne is a student at Newton County Theme School at Fickwit and she earned state recognition and an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Corinne. Darlene Doriska. 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 Darlene Doriska. Darlene is a student at Clements Middle School and she earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Nyla Falks. Nyla is a student at Clements Middle School and she earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Nyla. Tiffany Singleton. Tiffany attends Clements Middle School and she earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, <laughs> Tiffany. Austin Wells. Austin is a student at Indian Creek Middle School and he earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations, Austin. Emily Adams. Emily is a student at Newton County Theme School at Fickwit, and she earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. <laughs> Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> Philip Brown. Oh, boy. Philip attends Newton County Theme School at Fickwit and he earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. We could just clap for <laughs> Tyler Hansen. 
Tyja Tuggle. Tyja is a student at Newton County Theme School at Fickwit, and she earned an invitation to the Duke Academy for Summer Studies. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ethan Watts. Ethan <coughs> attends Newton County Theme School at Fickwit. We are so very proud of each and every one of you for your hard work and, and focus on school. It's very important for your future. Families, moms, dads, extended family, we appreciate your support. Um, and without you behind our young people, uh, they would not be able to accomplish all that they have today. And being able to score at, the tw at 21 or 530 on an SAT or an ACT is absolutely amazing. You have very bright young men and women in the room. So parents, thank you. Um, students, we appreciate you. And at this time, um, Madam Chair, this concludes the recognition portion of tonight's meeting. All right, thank you very much. Um, this is the time where if you would all like to exit um, before we move on to uh, the rest of our matters of interest. There they go. <laughs> You're welcome to stay. Just leave it there on the desk. I mean on the chair, excuse me. Good job. You're welcome. Let Good job, Jack. See you later. Good job. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. have no public participation I don't believe so I need a motion to approve tonight's agenda so moved. second all in favor aye aye, aye. Um, approval of tonight's minutes um, do we have a motion to approve minutes so moved. second all in favor aye. aye all right Dr. Lockhart I believe you have our superintendent's reports yes madam chair um, operations there are no changes to the financial or the operations reports all right um, any questions on those? All right, what about the curriculum and instructional technology? Uh, yes, ma'am, no change to the curriculum instruction technology report. The presentation for 21st century community will be postponed until September. And I would like to update you with our enrollment report. As of, uh, as of today. Items A and B under superintendent's reports. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving on, old business. Um, items A through E will sit on the table until September. Yes, ma'am. All right, so moving on to our new business. Um, item A. Item A is on um, requested board action relative to renewal of contract for 21st Century Community Learning Centers program. No changes to that, Madam Chair. All right, do you have any questions? Um, do we have a motion to approve item A? So moved. All right, first, seconded. Um, all in favor, aye. 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 All right, item B. <coughs> item B, acceptance of 21st Century Community Learning Center grants recommendation. The superintendent recommends acceptance of continuation grants totaling $1.5 million for 21st Century Community Learning Centers be approved. 
these programs address a variety of needs for our schools, um, including Georgia milestones, EOC scores, school discipline, and juvenile referrals. And again, we're asking for action to be taken this evening. All right, do we have any questions about item B from our board members? Do we have an approval, a uh, motion to approve item B? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, um, item C. Item C is requested board action relative to renewal of maintenance agreement for error high wireless access points, no changes, Madam Chair. All right, are there any questions? If there are none, do we have a motion to approve item C? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye date will be August 19th, 2016. Follett is the largest provider of library asset and textbook automated management solutions to K-12 schools. Again, this is a renewal. The total cost is $28,000. This cost will be paid for with budgeted FY16 general funds. And we are requesting action on that item tonight. All right, are there any questions about item D? If there are none, do we have a motion to approve? Do we have a second? Second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, moving on, items E, F, and G. I don't believe there are any. No, no changes, changes, Madam Chair. All right, so if we could take um, all three of those. Do we have a motion to approve items E, F, and G? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. All, right, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, item H and I, I believe, need to stay until yes. September meeting. Yes, ma'am. They are table for 30 days. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we will not vote on those. Items J, this is our um, board action relative to the local board governance, governance training. There are no changes to this item. Mm -hmm. Do we have a motion to approve? So move. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 All right, item K, Superintendent Fury. Yes. Um, I recommend that the Newton County Board of Education support the work embedded in the Georgia Vision Project for public education and further determine areas for transform transformation for the school system and our continuing efforts to improve educational opportunity components of Georgia's educational assistant system, identifying exciting opportunity to establish pr principles and offer recommendations. And they have um, several um, different agencies. It has grown to 35 partner organizations, agencies and groups, um, the Vision Project collectively working to accomplish the bulleted items which include transforming and building trust for public education in Georgia um, to significantly increase the number of students inspired and qualified to enter college, the workforce or technical training. Um, and without reading every single one of them to you, um, as there are a significant number of them. Um, we have supported the Georgia Vision Project um, in the past and the recommendation is for the board to approve a resolution doing so. All right, thank you. Um, are there any questions about item K? There are none. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 All right, item L, Dr. Lockhart. Item L, superintendent requests that the board approve the personnel recommendations made during the executive session. All right, do we have a motion to approve item L? So moved. Second. All right, first and second. All in favor, aye. 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 All right, um, other matters of interest? Madam Chair, I have none at this time. Okay. I do, All real right. quick. I just want to say that the um, event on Saturday, the PE party was absolutely phenomenal. It was so many parents that came out. A number of parents were like, are you guys going to do this again? So kudos to Mr. Joyce and all the PE teachers that came out and the wellness committee. So it was great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 